Hello, scrappy sisters and Mr. Suzanne here in the studio today to talk about using up some more leftovers of the Happiness Lives Here paper line from close to my heart. I think I've already shown you one layout that I had done, but I had still had a few pieces of paper left because I'd been scrapbooking with my sister. And once she and I had done several of the close to my heart workshops together, we swapped off leftovers. I gave her some of my serenity and she gave me some of her happiness lives here. So let's get started and I'll show you what I've done. First of all, I wanted to say that I used for inspiration the Make It From Your Heart latest volume five of the pattern books from Close To My Heart. And I am specifically using pattern number eight, which calls for three photos. It is a double page layout calling for four different papers. I used a couple of different papers and then some cardstock too. Want to see what I've done? Here we are. Isn't this sweet? As you can see, I had two full pieces of this sort of ditzy small floral. And then I had one piece left of this blue paper. And this blue paper was actually on the diagonal, but I didn't really think I wanted to use it on the diagonal. So I turned it like this and then used an 18 inch ruler to cut two strips out of the middle. And then I matched up the design and I was easily able to get more than a 12 inch and then this one just needed to be 11 and it was even long enough. Okay, although the pattern called for a circle, I decided to do a hexagon instead using an old cutting system from a different company whose name you probably already know. But that's a tool that comes in handy when you do want to do something quick. I could have also cut this hexagon shape from my Cricut. In order to kind of echo this a little bit, instead of fishtailing this over here on this, I cut the angle to be the same as the angle of the hexagon. I also added in an extra zip strip because you know me and zip strips to the pattern. I thought that added a little something something. As far as embellishment clusters, I cut down two PML cards and then layered stickers on top. This is a great story. This is us over here and then here. Happy memories are made here. And this was a separate card that I cut the florals out of. These little sort of ditzy stickers were from a prior close to my heart paper line. And then my last embellishment are these little white acrylic flowers from close to my heart. Okay, the happiness love lives here paper line is still available online so you might want to go check that out hope this gives you a good idea for doing another layout from your leftovers then I decided I was going to do some cards I pulled out this stamp set stitched florals I had used it before, but I hadn't really gotten that much use out of it, so I decided to pull it out again, and let me show you the cards I made. By the way, this stamp set is on sale in the Stamp-tacular April sale. It's only $9.50 if you just want the stamp set, and $20 if you want the stamp set and the thin cuts. Here is my first card. Look at that. Here we have a zip strip at the top and then a little bit of that blue paper. And then this little image was stamped and cut with a thin cut. And then I colored it and I colored it using Bluebell and Sage inks. And I just used a wet paintbrush and put a little ink in the lid and colored from that. I thought it was really easy to color this way and control the color, so I like that method a lot. I 
I also tried some um, second generation stamping and I find that's a little bit tougher to do with acrylics stamps versus some red rubber stamps that tend to hold the ink a little longer. But it is a fun technique to try. And then I used three of the Bluebell Pearls that you see here. Those are temporarily unavailable on the website, but they're expected to be back in stock mid-May. So there's that first card. For my second card again, I stamped peach and bluebell flowers and leaves on the same color cardstock. And then I used the strips of paper I had left. And then I went to my chipboard box. I don't know if I've shown you my chipboard box before, but when I have leftover chip box, I store it like this, just on a piece of cardstock, and that just is sitting on there, usually with uh, glue dots, and they are in these work file folders. And that way, if the heavy chipboard falls off, it's going to be caught by this. So I'm really trying to use up a lot of this chipboard. It's not something I buy as much as I used to, but I certainly have a good backlog. And it's fun to use on cards. And as you can see, I use the I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you across the bottom. And then this is just a little gem that happened to be the right color from my stash. So there's that one. Next, I started with my base as one of the PML cards. I cut it down to four by five and a quarter. So that gave me a quarter inch all the way around the edge. I used the rest of the I Love You chipboard plus this totally. And then it's just another little yellow strip of paper. And I embellished with three of those little acrylic flower sequins. And those are just $4.95 for a package. So they're nice to add to your order if you need to get it to $50 to get the free stamp of the month. I think that turned out real cute. My last one is another one featuring the chipboard. Again, the floral paper, another strip of paper, and then this smile. And then I had a little heart sticker and a couple of little white acrylic flower sequins, and then of course another piece of chipboard. The colors on this matched up real well, so I was real happy with that. So there you have it. My set of four cards. I hope you've enjoyed this super quick video here on a Monday morning. It's not even Wednesday yet and you're already getting a video. I should see you back here on Wednesday with another one. Thanks for your time and attention. Have fun stamping and scrapping. Bye-bye.